Today is the inaugural flight of APC Lines to the United Arab Emirates. I just got into the airport and the whole place is buzzing with activities. This year is APC Alliance check-in area at the departure ring of Maritala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos, Nigeria, where the inaugural flight will be originating from. I can't believe that we have this huge crowd for the inaugural. It shows that Nigerians are happy and I'm glad knowing that all these passengers are booked on this flight. Wow, I'm even citing the former governor of Anambra State, Peter Obi. I think he's also going to be on this flight. This red carpet here is for their first and business class passengers. Check-in counters haven't been opened for passengers yet. That will be after the inaugural conference, which is starting shortly. But first, let me tell you about the aircraft that will be making this landmark journey. Do you wanna, do you wanna come along with me? It is a Boeing 777-300 christened or Jochi Day with registration number 5 November Bravo Uniform Uniform. The plane was brought in in 2018. Do you know what a Jochi Day means? I will tell you, it means God is the chief guide. Definitely God will be our chief guide on this trip and the subsequent ones she will be making. The time has come now for us to hear the president's first international inaugural speech. But first, we we'll take an inaugural prayer from the Southwest Regional Manager of Maritala Mohammed Airport, Mrs. Shi Abba. History is being made here again to your glory in the name of Jesus. We well, thank you for this. The inaugural prayer, and well, after that, we'll be life. listening thank to the chairman of the airline as he delivers his first international inaugural speech, and then followed by the director from the Ministry of Transportation representing the minister and the PAMSEC, and also from airline operators of Nigeria. This flight will not just start and switch off like that. But it will remain and will give back to more of it in the mighty name of Jesus. At the end of the day, Lord, we pray that we have cause and causes to glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Definitely. The flight will not just start and switch off like that. I can only give God Almighty the honor and glory for everything. I thank you all Nigerians for your support over the years. Just within four years of our operations, we are going international. Within four years of operation, we've been able to show some strength. It's not due to our power, 
but we owe everything to God Almighty. I have no doubt that APs will not just start these operations today and close shop after some months. I have no doubt that APs will persevere and continue under the guidance and protection of God Almighty. Forever and ever, we'll continue doing that particular route and other routes to come to the glory and honor of God Almighty. Because of God's protection and because of God's love for us, I have no doubt that we are going to succeed. And because of the love of you all Nigerians who have supported us over the years, I have no doubt that we are going to succeed. This is a Nigerian airline. Nigerians, I want you to remember that what you pay to go to Europe, a six-hour flight, those who are flying from Johannesburg, a nine-hour flight, do not pay that same amount. The time to stop the short changing of Nigerian flying public has come. Because of God Almighty, because of his protection of this airline, this airline is owned by God Almighty. I am the front for God Almighty only. I am managing the airline for God Almighty. And I want to assure you that this airline will continue to fly safe and land safely at all times and always to the glory and honor of God Almighty. Not because we employ the best pilots, not because we have the best maintenance, not because we have the best equipment, but because of God's love, I assure you all that you will continue to fly a peace and fly a peace in peace. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Air peace has done proud to everybody. We are very proud of him. I'm happy just a few months ago we were talking with Alan. He wanted to start uh, Dubai and today is a reality. Very soon we hope to see him on uh, London route and, uh, and China route. So I wish you successful operations, Alan. Congratulations. Well done. This is the beginning of a new trend and of a new level. I want to call upon Air Peace to keep the flag which he has decided to raise to represent us as a flag carrier that we've all wanted, that God will grant him the strength to keep that flag flying that will make all of us proud with heads lifted up and that he will move from place to place. This will be the beginning of many more things that you will do to represent us. As you go forth, you represent Nigeria. You go forth, you represent Epis. You go forth, you represent the youths of Nigeria. You go forth, you represent Nigerian aviation. You go forth, you represent us as a country. We wish you the best. Congratulations, Epis. Keep flying. The check-in counters are now officially opened for passengers. I also heard the airline will be switching on a new uniform for their international operation. Well, I can't wait to see the new uniform they'll be switching on today. And if it's true, that is going to actually be a double celebration. Oh my, they are here. Oh, <laughs> what a beautiful uniform. <laughs> Amazing. They are Airbus Airlines International Cabin Crew. This is their new uniform. They are so beautiful. Yeah, they are so beautiful. Okay, see you on board. Watch me. The airline isn't just inaugurating their new international route today. As a matter of fact, two things have been inaugurated today by the airline. They are inaugurating their international route as well as their new cabin uniform. It's indeed a very proud day for all of us. I'm going to give this time to play because I just love the crew. I love the uniform. Check out that smile.
crew is led by Captain Victor Egonu and Senior First Officer Emmanuel. Actually, they were the ones that brought in Ojochide to the country and now take it her on her first international trip today that is very beautiful there's the president and the vice president of APS Airlines proudly appreciating the crew Captain Victor Egona is the first Nigerian pilot to have flown a Nigerian registered 777 on a Nigerian license congratulations captain Just for Did you see the red jacket uh, the head crew are wearing? Look at it very well. It is called Isiago. Isiago is a highly revered Igbo traditional dressing, and Isiago means the head of a lion. And it represents Nigeria because Nigeria is the lion of Africa. What a unique dressing and I'm totally totally loving it. Very symbolic one there. People are beginning to see this project as a Nigerian project, not as an APS Airlines project anymore. And these ladies and gentlemen came from different parts of the country. So they are representing Nigeria. This is really beautiful. Congratulations APs. Congratulations Nigeria. You just go out there and make us proud. What you've just heard now is a boarding call for APC Airlines passengers. As a matter of fact, the very first international boarding call for the airline and the time is 8.20 p.m. I'm still going through profiling. You can see the crowd is still out. A lot of passengers have already done theirs and she'll be going through security right about now. I'll quickly finish and I'll join them. While I was going through profiling, something actually happened here. Uh, one thing I always tell travelers, I always try to leave a tip uh, for them whenever I travel and a whole lot of things happen uh, at the airport. So uh, let me quickly uh, say this to you. If you know that you have an international passport, always keep it handy and check for the availability because the rule here is that you must have up to six months availability on your passport at the time of your travel, not before, at the time. If not, please go and get a new one all right something actually happened here at the airport and the person was denied boarding this is very heartbreaking but as a matter of fact if you're watching this program right now and you have an international passport quickly run and pick it up and check the available uh, month uh, time remaining on your passport it doesn't really mean that your passport will be expired before you renew it some people renew their passport like every two months because they travel often it doesn't matter if a visa is given to you on that passport. The person that was denied boarding was denied boarding when he was going through profiling. They found out that the passport will like be expiring in the next four months and the person wasn't allowed boarding. So make sure that at the time of your travel that you just still have up to six to seven months before the expiration of your passport. Okay, so take this one from me. So I'm going to quickly run and go through the security because they've already called for boarding and people have started boarding already. And I'll see you again on board. the earth. 
special item about us today, uh, this is the Northern Flight Service Coast Guard. Uh, we have to cover that, just wait for the cargo hold to be closed. Once the cargo hold is shut, the main door will be closed on the way. Uh, the authorities in charge so we are all uh, seated now. It's 10.33 p.m. Now, what you just heard now is the first onboard announcement on AP's flight, Papa 47557 to Sharjah. Jochi Day is taxi now and the time is 10 36 p.m. I noticed that the flight is near full and this is their first international uh, flight. Very impressive. I'm not going to let you miss any moment. Flight Papa 47557 to Sharjah just took off the ground and the time is 10.43 p.m. That's APIS Airlines' first international flight just going on her first international trip and the time now is 10.43 p.m. Beautiful. Ojochi Day is on her way to her first international trip the aircraft is so beautiful inside and out. Very clean. What you are witnessing today is a landmark event, a beginning of a better travel deal that will change the way we travel in Nigeria. So it's a very memorable moment, not just for me, for all these passengers on board these aircraft today. This is what I call tsunami of selfie. You might be wondering what actually is happening here they are just showing love you know showing respect to p2b the former governor of anambra state he actually came to say hello to everybody and people were just you know taking selfies with him that is beautiful that is amazing the crowd is just simply too much so i'll get my moment later it's very quiet i'm going to turn down my voice because people are sleeping it's very quiet so it seems as if i'm the only one still awake almost everybody is sleeping and why they are busy sleeping some people are busy cashing in big time the thing here is fidelity bank plc is running a cash back promo on ap's flight to the united arab emirates yeah the cash back promo will run all through to august 
and two winners will emerge in each flight. Let's say six winners will emerge every week since APIS flies three times a week. That is, they operate three weekly flights to the United Arab Emirates. Like I said, two winners will emerge, one through a raffle draw, while the other through booking using his or her credit card. That is, being the first to buy APIS Airlines ticket to the United Arab Emirates with his credit card. They already have two winners and they are on board this aircraft. Now they are being recognized and given their cash back certificates. They will be getting back their full 180,000 Naira paid for this flight. Okay, from any Fidelity Bank. Aren't they lucky? Congratulations, Daniel. And you also, congratulations. One actually said he has never won anything in his life before. So he's very, very happy uh, to have won this and now believes that people can actually win something for real. You can visit their website and you'll get more details about this. So congratulations, you guys. What a beautiful sunrise. Good morning. We will soon be in Sharjah, I figure. Once again, a Nigerian carrier is proudly carrying dreams of Nigerian. I bless God for this moment. The city of Sharjah is in view right now. I haven't been to Sharjah before, but was told that this is where you leave the spirit of the UAE. Sharjah is the traditional and spiritual headquarter of the UAE, also the heart of education and culture in the UAE. Here you see a lot of historical sites, religious sites, museums, and you have beaches surrounding the city. Sharjah has the spirit of a culture in the UAE. Very interesting. We are approaching Sharjah International Airport now. You can see the airport is, the whole place is opening up. This airport has its uniqueness. Being one of the oldest in the region, the airport connects the Northern Emirates towards the other cities of the United Arab Emirates. It has a direct approach and no holding. We just touched down Sharjah International Airport. What a joy! And on time too. The time now is 9.53 a.m. Almost 8 straight hours. Passengers can just stop appreciating the crew. Beautiful flight, smooth landing. I didn't even notice when the tires retracted. APC Airlines becomes the first Nigerian airline to fly into Sharjah and also to Dubai via Sharjah. Congratulations, APC.
now you have multiple destinations you can visit in the UAE with APC lines at no extra cost. Travels to the UAE is now going to be seamless and way more affordable. If you haven't been to Dubai before, well, this is your time. It's really a beautiful country to visit. I always tell people that it's one of the countries to visit before you die. So put it on the bucket list of your most visit countries. And if you feel like exploring this enchanting and intriguing city before continuing to Dubai, you are welcome to do so. And another beautiful thing here is that Air Peace Airlines isn't just flying to the United Arab Emirates. They have a code share arrangement with an airline here, which I will tell you later. With Air Peace Airlines United Arab Emirates flight, you can actually visit almost 23 Indian cities. And on this flight, we have passengers traveling all the way to India. And so their luggage is checked in through to their final destination. On behalf of the chairman of Edris, Epis Beta crew, we'd like to say a very big thank you to everyone who has been on this flight today. We do appreciate your presence on board with us and we look forward to welcoming you on board again soon. Do have a very wonderful stay in Sharjah. and enjoy the rest of the day. Good morning. My name is Mohamed Njuma. Um, I flew in from Abuja to Lagos just to catch this flight. And um, all I can say today is I'm a very proud Nigerian because this is, our, this is one of ours. And um, by any standard, this is comparable to any flag carrier internationally. And it was an experience that um, I will leave to tell others to come and um, uh, also experience this is the first flight and for me I give them 99.9% <laughs> because the food was very good the, the flight was very smooth and um, it has three cabins first second and economy and all of them were superb so I believe um, Nigeria has come of age anyways I came on this flight first as a Nigerian, just to prove that we really can make it. It's our own. Wow, I'm amazed. I'm in heaven. I mean, hey, this flight was smooth. This flight was everything I wanted. The food was wow. I could actually eat pounded yam and soup on a flight. Way. What else do I want? Sometimes you go on the flight and the food, you just, you just slip through up because you don't want to eat. But this one, I was wide awake. At everything, the host, the hostesses, their uniforms, everything was on point. Everything was wow. Smoothly, we landed. Bye, bye, see ya, see ya, see ya. We are right now at Sharjah International Airport and I'm going to pick up my luggage and head for the welcome ceremony. On arrival, we are being received by the airport authorities of Sharjah, the Nigeria High Commission to the United Arab Emirates. I told you I will get my moment with His Excellency Peter Obi. Yeah, this is my moment. He's returning back to Nigeria shortly. The only way we can do the Nigeria, where we all will be proud of the constitution of that country, is to support 
We have signed a bilateral air services agreement with United Arab Emirates, for which uh, all these years United Arab Emirates are enjoying the benefits of those of that agreement. On our own part, non, no airline comes. So you can see that uh, at least this is the beginning of the realization of our commitments and our uh, objectives for signing that agreement. And of course, under that bilateral air services agreement, there are so many clauses in that agreement that seeks under that to protect and promote Nigerian airline coming in here or to protect UAE airline going there and vice versa. So the airline should give Nigeria support by ensuring that they work strictly on the agreement by ensuring that the flights are on time, by ensuring that they cultivate the clientele such that this agreement can go to the higher level. We've been looking forward to uh, have airpiece uh, here at Charger Airport. Uh, we, we assure you the, uh, we're going to deliver the best uh, operation for uh, airpiece and all the support that will be given from Charger Airport to the airpiece operation. We have our sales agency, which is Charger, uh, which is SATA. We'll, uh, we'll make sure that uh, to have the best uh, services given to airpiece towards selling the seats uh, inbound and outbound of, out of Sharjah uh, at airpiece. Uh, also, our ground handling will make sure that all the operation is seamless toward airpiece. Of, of course, uh, with the, all the facilities that Sharjah airports provide to all the carriers, uh, will be given also to airpiece. Okay, how many carriers fly to this airport? Uh, about uh, six. Uh, actually, we have 14 in total. That includes the cargo and the passenger flight as well. And okay. it's a hub of Air Arabia, which is the national carrier at Sharjah Airport. Time to leave the airport to our various hotels. We didn't waste time here. Going through security was quick. Yes. In fact, I'm beginning to like the idea of flying through these airports. Is relatively small to compare to Dubai airports. They do not have a lot of flights going through these airports, meaning the less flights you have, the less people you're going to be having on the queue, all right, the less crowd that the airport is going to be. So going through security is actually going to be very seamless. I just hate those security lines. I'm trying to take a short to show you the security lines. But cameras are not allowed and then I'll talk to you people when I get outside. Outside the whole place is opened up already waiting for APs first and business class passengers are limos. These limos lined up here are for APs Airlines first and business class passengers ready to take them to their various destinations. <laughs> It's been a good arrangement. Have you? Yes. For the first uh, time, being a premier, um, yeah, yeah, in, in no graph flight. It's, it's very nice. The company has said that 
first class and business class passengers are gonna get a limo transfer to their various destinations and then the economy passengers will be getting a bus transfer to Dubai bus station they also made provisions for that This is the bus car park, so we all want to board a bus going to Dubai bus station. I might get some shots for you to show you the sight and sound of a drive through from Sharjah to Dubai. Okay, let's go then. So from here, we're going to go straight to the hotel to get some rest for the party later in the evening. And my next episode, I'll be showing you the welcome party that APS Airlines organized for dignitaries and passengers. Thank you, APs, for honoring me with an invite to be a part of this historic event. 